Hi, welcome to your monthly scopes. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Geminis, you have a lot of swords, so this month is heavily uh, focused on your mental um, health, perception, strengths and weaknesses, and the way you are uh, communicating with yourself and with others. So the thoughts, the thought process that generally for Gemini is already very important, but the thought process that you have been wired into, I feel that the way you have been thinking or allowing yourself sometimes to think negatively of yourself, of life, of others, all of that will be um, needing some reassessment or a, reval a revaluation so you can reset and deprogram something here in your thought um, in your thought process because I feel that some some Gemini's could be um, in, uh, impacting their physical health through the way um, that they are allowing themselves to think uh, some some uh, Gemini's are just wanting to reorganize 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 their lives and they are trying to push beyond their negativity and their pessimism they really are but i feel that it's going to be you know like a swing one minute you may be feeling powerful and ready to take charge on your ideas and the other minute you may withdraw into a sense of consume um you know a lot of consuming thoughts some of you may be prone to anxiety and um, panic attacks. Others of you, this is just sim symbolic of you overstressing, over obsessing over um, maybe answers and clarity you want to gain, but you cannot at this time quite know what to do because there's still here a reassessment and evaluation that's needed before the conclusion comes because you do have you do have the world but in the subconscious and what is causing all of this so there's um there's a, a powerful conclusion and completion to come to, uh, and it has been a trying some Gemini, Gemini's have been walking towards a very trying road and it has been an ongoing issue here in your journey how to rebalance your mind and how to not allow yourself to be con conflicted and continuously divided and split in your own thought process I, and i think you are going to learn and or or add some type of new tool or new information that it's going to help you to regain that balance but I feel that you are only going to get it if you go to the four of swords and you allow yourself to heal to withdraw yourself from the noise to shut down voices of your mind to understand that you are the master of your own mind not the way around and so there's a restraining here I feel in the in the acceleration of how your mind goes into observing things or jumping into conclusions as well some some of you may be prone to jump too fast into conclusions there's kind of an unstable you know mental approach here for others of you it's more of a clearing away uh, clearing away things and using this mental over excessive energy actually to help you which is by focusing on improvements in lifestyle as organizing clearing um, getting uh, details worked out I feel that Gemini's have a lot of power and strength um, this month on improving their health improving their life conditions and actually on um, new chances for uh, career 
or a new cycle in terms of career and financial opportunities. Success, success. There's something that Gemini's may um, may obtain, may gain in this month that can that could help here in terms of your moods to lift up your mood and make you make you feel proud of yourself and you know confident upon your own upon your own talents and your own capabilities it, it, there's something here upon you realizing your capabilities you realizing that you can make this work yes your head may be sometimes a mess well for all of us usually it is one one ones are more um you know able to uncover that than others or or detach than others but still we all have here a very complicated mental process because well we could dive into this matter for um for a long time but the fact is that mentally usually we are not healthy and it's an ongoing process it's an ongoing journey to realize that in the first step, step that mentally we are not good to ourselves and we are not being um, mentally uh, healthy and preparing ourselves to empowerment so we need to step back which i which is what i feel you are going on which you are uh, going through right now here is you need to take a step back and not see it as uh, a delay. No, it's a reassessment of your practical everyday life in order for you to restore here something mentally to prepare you for what's next. Because I feel that you have some great things coming in terms, again, of personal achievement, career, finances, uh, creativity, success, being recognized by your efforts and by your talents and by your skills. but you may be prone to impulsivity um impulsivity over this month and i feel you should balance that out i feel that you should use the excessive thoughts or activity to again help you get that fuel and that energy to actually you know organize things around you or dedicate yourself towards matters that are good for you, you know, things you want to study, things you want to explore, places you want to go, uh, places that help you at the same time heal and disconnect from the noise and at the same time to be involved in something. So I feel that you need to find that middle ground. I know that it's impossible for you to be just um, all day in bed or all day just watching movies for some of you I feel that you are not here in this energy of accepting uh, that type of dragging of things I feel that some Gemini's are really wanting to charge ahead and make things happen and they may feel that there's always a roadblock or there's an obstacle here when they try to push forward and I feel it is because your step needs or the acceleration here needs to be readdressed so you don't go too fast or you don't move too slow it's like learning how to drive towards your goal and others of you are just really focused on uh, lifestyle routines organizing um, doing things to improve your health is very good and advisable this month for some Gemini's that have been, you know, disregarding their health or not taking care of themselves properly, you may have some, uh, your immune, immune, hum, I'm sorry, yeah, I never know how to say this word, your immune system, your immunity may be lower than usual and so you may have some type of health um, issues surfacing, some of you allergies, or things to deal with um, the respiratory respiratory tract, or uh, with the fact we you know when we are so anxious in and in our minds, we tend to not breathe properly, and one of the first symptoms of a panic attack is to feel that shortness of breath and not being able to breathe. So, making sure you are practicing. Uh, any type of breath 
uh, that helps you to synchronize with your breath or any type of mindful therapy that just helps you, you know get off your mind a little bit any type of activity it's very advisable for you as you are very sensitive what i feel is as well most gemini's at this time you are more sensitive than usual for some toxicity or to the effects of negative uh thoughts and emotions to to, to hinder you even though emotionally you are quite uh, on a level that it's very you know intellectual and, and practical so this has to deal with matters that are more pragmatic than emotional or creative this is things that you really want to get done organized cleared some of you are trying to wipe out you know faults stains are some of you are, are, are going through this perfectionist wanting to perfect either yourself or again your health your time, your mind, you, some of you are just feeling that there's a lot of things that are just a waste of time and you want to go back to a place of lightness of being and I feel you are going to reach that state but I also feel that some Geminis have been through some heartbreak or have been through something in the recent months that you know, it caused you some pain or some suffering or some worry. And it's like you are getting back yourself to a place of rebalance and, and ability to overcome it. But don't deny, I feel that some of you may be denying that there's still here something that is inflicting you and impacting you in a... Um, in a level that could be damaging damaging if you don't address it properly because interesting that you have the three of swords crossing the four of swords you know usually the three of swords that happen in the, the heartbreak the wound the suffering or disappointment happens and then we go into the four of swords to heal this heartbreak and then you have as the outcome the two of swords so i feel that Again, there's, um, you know, when we have a lot of wires, it's imagined that you have a lot of wires of information, but somehow some of them are mixed and they are not in the proper places. So what I feel is this Four of Swords is going to help you uh, put back the wires of information in the right places so you can make sense out of things and actually know here where this debate and this conflict or this denial of your own you know emotional um issues are, are is coming from because i feel that some gemini's are denying denying that they are hurt denying that they are sad denying that they are lost denying that they are just not you know all right and it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to admit that but i feel that you are trying to you know manage and, and uh, manage it on your own and um trying to remain light-hearted about it you have two pages page of swords representing you and external influences you have the page of wands so there's here's some um joyful spirit you know childish spirit childlike spirit as well that it's that it's being um, felt or experienced, or you're trying to incorporate in your mindsets to help you lighten up worries or lighten up things, and I feel that that is okay, uh, especially to help you again dive into activities or matters you want to study and explore, places you want to go, people you want to be with and have a good time with. That's great, but don't use the pages to deny you know or avoid um deeper issues that needs your your attention others of you i feel that for for others of you on the other end you have been in a long long lasting coma because it's like there's the energy here of the sleeping beauty and when she gets kissed by the prince and she wakes up this could have very potentials but because you don't have a lot of cups i feel that for some of you it means that it's a wake up you know it's like that 
something that has the power to wake you up back in and put you back in track in into the game of life uh, or realizing that you have been asleep for too long and there's a lot of things you want to study explore know and adventure yourself on some of you are actually um, you know having that type of infatuation or or a person in your life that it's helping you uh, awaken awaken to your beauty awaken to things you are missing out when so carried out into your own evasion some of you it's because it's mixed up some of you are evading some of you are avoiding rest so it's kind of mixed bag mm -hmm. depends on the type of the type of Gemini's you are um, I also feel again some of you are really having here an opportunity for career development and good news in regards to um, work for those of you who have been looking for new opportunities on work I feel that November it's a great month the world and the ace of Pentacles here it's great to grant you um, new potential and a new cycle of abundance here to come it's a great month to work on improving things whatever you want to improve whatever you want to fix whatever you want to heal you have here um it's like a healer's touch you know for yourself for things in your life you want to um make work make it work or make it work better just don't put put uh too much pressure for you to be over critical or excessive or perfectionist into uh, those matters some of you are creating a new way of being relating with yourself and with your spirit it's like a, a spiritual creation here that it's going on and it's going to allow more room to breathe and to be calm in your own conflicts and dualities duality is a part of life and i feel that you are here to accept that others if you again have just i feel that some gemini's are, are um, some of you are signing new contracts or or being pro receiving some type of propo proposal that you are going to be analyzing if it's worth your while and i believe for the majority of you it is some of you are just going to score, you know, mm -hmm. it's that energy of I'm going to, I will get this and you will, or something that you have been desiring to win and conquer. I feel that there's, at the end of the month, there's an energy of I win and conquer kind of, um, kind of development. So for Gemini's, November is a month of development. I don't see it as a new beginning or an ending. No, I see that for you, it's developments, developments and needing to work, needing to pay attention, needing to be conscious. Sometimes this brings a little bit of a crisis, health crisis, mind crisis, conscious crisis, ugh, emotional crisis. But you know, it's to push you to that notion that you need to do something you need to improve on a certain matter to make it work and to allow yourself then room to be free to other experiences so gemini i hope you have a great month thank you so much for all of you who have been liking sharing subscribing and commenting i really appreciate it and please keep doing so and hopefully we'll see each other soon